Alright, stream should be up. Noemil, this is good for you. How did the stream look? Is it watchable for you now? I tried lowering the bitrate and doing something else that crashed OBS, so I'm not sure if that actually stuck, so let me know, actually. Yeah, accidentally dropped my knife. Yeah. Hey, Bale Slayer, how's it going, man? I, th I think I said that right if I butchered it. It's to be expected. I'm sorry, dude. I really can't do much. <laughs> it's good for now, and thanks for going. No problem, man. I, it's awesome to see. I just had to lower the bit rate by about 300 kilobytes per second. So hopefully with that, you can actually watch this thing, and it won't be stuttering and being a atrocious for you. So that, and hopefully, I mean, the video is not going to turn out the best in the VOD, but meh. As long as, you could, as long as people can watch it when it's live, that's the important bit. I mean, yeah, that's that's one of the important bits. And Chatty now recognizes that I'm live, so yay for that! Yay for Red Dukes! Yay for Bale Slayer, who says not bad, so I'm assuming I said it not bad-ish quality, so yay! <laughs> now, uh, are things starting up again? Because I had to restart my computer to fix that thing, so, yeah, uh, man. Time to watch a road grind for an hour. <laughs> To be, to be entirely honest, I might not have to grind at all. Depends how things go. The way games go, usually ball is the pinnacle of just BS that you can encounter. Aside, and I'm saying as a singular enemy, not counting entire areas such as the X Dimension or the Sky or 2. There was like the Red Moon stuff that you could do there, I know that. As for Red Duke's uh, news about Sky 5, give me a second to talk about that, since I'm gonna be having to say something that's gonna go on YouTube anyway, so yeah. But as for, like, what Ball usually represents, it's like the pinnacle of post-game. You know you've made it. And to those that know about things beyond that, you say, you just beat Ball and you're like, yeah, now I can actually enter the X Dimension without fearing for my life. <laughs> and things like that, so for me, Ball is the pinnacle of things. For other people, it's the gatekeeper. It's like saying you beat the main campaign in disguise sometimes. But for me, I don't think I might have to grind because I'm not going to be fighting Ball for those of you who think I'm going to be fighting Ball. No. Hell no. I've already established that I'm not going to be able to beat Ball in any disguise game really unless I, I go ham. Just absolutely ham. What I'm really going to go on about is that I was actually, before this, I was browsing on like, you know, what should I stream? I need to test my rig out, I need to do some stuff for it. I need to make sure things work properly. And I think, is there any DLC that I could do? I look at the Sky of 4. There's a good amount of it, but they're all character DLCs. I've already done the Fuka and Desco show, and the character DLCs that they would be would be stomped out of oblivion because they all come out at a standardized level. I think, hey, did the Sky, did you get anything like Fuka and Desco show as a post-game thing? I looked up and no. No. No, 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 no. I mean, they have more characters, I know that. Several more characters, actually, that I can do, but again, level thing, that's it. It wouldn't be much content aside from me just showing you how the fight goes, what formation they're in, and that. And even then, that's old news that for now. So what can I do? I know, the Raspberry Show! I could at least try that. I mean, let's see how much it costs me. I go to the PlayStation Store, I look it up, and... It says I own episode 1 to 3 of the Raspberry Show. Which I'm like, that's interesting, because this guy here is trying to sell me the Red Bell show. Yeah, the next episode, I'm like, I wonder why he's here. So, I'm just like, uh, somewhere. I start thinking, wait, there's a place that I have never gone in this Sky game for so long now that I actually forgot it existed. Here, because this is the time travel to revert your lo your things back to go back to the beginning of the game, and I don't want to do that. So never thought about coming down here. So, turns out this guy is to start the barrel story, and I could have been doing the barrel story this entire time for videos. Oh, that's a slap to the face. It really is. Since we'll be going on YouTube, I guess I'm only gonna do this. Hey, everybody! Rebellion, welcome back to Disgaea 3! Uh, absence of 
something, it changes by which con which version you have, but you know what I mean. But aside from that, we are here because I discovered that I actually do have the barrel story. I should have already explained this, I'm not gonna be... I'm not actually good enough to actually do editing and actually stuff like that, so... Yeah. But aside from that, we are here, we're gonna do stuff. I am testing several things with this stream, so... The people that are gonna watch this on YouTube, if it looks atrocious, if this even shows up... I apologize in advance so much. To those here on stream, hey, we're going to be doing the Red Girl Show. At least part of it. Whatever I have. I have three episodes unlocked, so I'm not sure how complete it is. I don't exactly remember how much the level will be. I don't really remember how high the levels will be because it's... Since it's a story, a side story DLC, thinking back to the old Valvatores and Fenric from a flashback sort of episode that they released for Dis or Disgaea 4, it can't be too high level, or else it would blockade things. I would see these side story DLCs almost as like a bridging point between post game and um, ball. Somewhere in between. It's not gonna be like, I don't expect to see level 2000 enemies here, god forbid, but I expect to see at least level 1000 enemies to try and build you up. Yeah, you see, you forget about this dude, because he's just, like, in the corner of nowhere. It, it matches that character's, I guess, a bit, because the masked heroes are always portrayed as, like, solitary people, but still. Alright, with that, we shall be jumping into Beryl's story, and hopefully, I hope so, so much. The stream does not break, my computer doesn't break, I don't break the game, the game doesn't break me, and we are ready for it. So let's go. I don't even know what to expect, actually, so... Peace has finally come to the Academy after superhero Orum was defeated. Oh, God. However, the peaceful time only actually separate position the Academy. Wow. I lost attention. You read that, because I cannot read that loud doing the voice and everything, so you guys read that. This is on you guys, not me. Oh, hell yes! It's the DLC thing, so they have to voice act it. Thank God I paid $2.99 per episode. Also, this is going to be me just putting in here. Is the music a bit loud compared to the voice acting? Everything's on the same level thing. I haven't messed with the actual sound, so... At least to me, it sounds weird. To you guys on the stream and stuff, it might sound okay. I'm not sure. Just me putting it randomly. Don't bother with it. Also, to those of you that are very attentive, and willing to blow your eardrums a little bit, you can hear the voice acting, you can hear this upbeat thing, which I'm assuming it's coming from Mouse Game, and if you listen really hard, you can hear the background song that's the theme for this entire thing. It's so strange, the audio design right now for this. Hey, wait a 
sick. Did you just say a delinquent teacher? So yeah, that was coming from his PSP of all things. To which, oh my god, he has a surround system based on his PSP. That actually sounds kind of awesome. That's right. Do you want to take my class too? I can even give you private tutoring lessons for free. I'd rather die than become your student. I bet you're gonna make me do volunteer work of some kind. <laughs> well, I won't force you if you don't want to. I'll conduct things in a good manner. I am a delinquent, after all. Miss Dean, I strongly object to this barrel. We don't need a delinquent teacher around here. <laughs> Does anyone else smell freshly baked bread? What are? Mr. JetBlue! What are you doing here, you unlicensed teacher wannabe? I am free to call myself a teacher here. In fact, anyone can be a teacher as long as the students accept them. So you're saying that the voice of the students outweighs the voice of the Dean? The Academy is filled with teachers who can't teach about being a demon. In fact, they can't teach anything at all. I'll be counting on you. Hi -ya -ya! Boom! My lady, we need to gather the students. You're right. Kyoko, Asuka, let's head to the Academy. Yes, my lady. Hmm. A delinquent teacher. students on their own so threaten them trap them go fetch them all well we appreciate that there are so many options but hmm, I wonder if I can find any of them Jeffrey would make this a lot easier fool why would my butler help you out Jeffrey you called for me young master Jeffrey when did you come back no <laughs> I see you're surprised. I brainwashed him to be more loyal and helpful. I call him Jeffrey X. Isn't that right, Jeffrey? I've prepared a transfer student for something like this. A transfer student? Why would Jeffrey do such a thing for Beryl? <laughs> I see that you're pretty confident about helping out your enemy. Why would I do that? Damn it! I guess my plan backfired. So, Jeffrey, where is this transfer student? Right here. You mean... you? What? <laughs> I'm only joking. I will show you at the Dimension Gate. Let me know once you're ready. So now we are here! Where we play as Barrel... Is anything lost? Well, we no longer have Beryl there, so where is she? Oh yeah, she's there at 100. We lost... <laughs> we lost Almaz and everyone... At, we lost story characters. That's what happened. We lost the story characters. Really. <laughs> and it seemed like even while I was streaming... 
you guys were just gambling it up and getting shot in the face by the guards. <laughs> Still, let's see. Oh, that's... No! No! Don't taunt me like that! No, this ain't fair! Fuck! <laughs> this sucks! Of course they would put chests on the... On Raspberry, who we don't level up. It's... Can I can I stand on one of you guys a little bit, please? No, I just can't. Ah, fuck! <laughs> All right, um, we're gonna have to go through this this way then. Let's just go ahead and do the national guy and see what we have. I was waiting for you, Mr. Raspberry. Students are over here. First period, we actually get no other areas, so, alright. And we have, have voice acting! Does it have voice acting? Please have voice acting, it's DLC, I paid for this, let it have voice acting. So this is it? My student is here, right? Fuck. Yes. <laughs> Where is this student? Who is this kid who wants to learn from Beryl? What is it, Mao? Since when have you been stalking me? What are you talking about? I'll consider that if you ever become useful for my research. Listen, I'm the dean of this academy. I'm supposed to supervise all threats to the academy, like you, for instance. What do you mean, supervise? If you act too delinquent, I'll write graffiti on every wall in the academy and set traps over every classroom door. I'll show these students how a demon should act, and they'll never want to act delinquent again. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like you're finally taking this seriously. Well, do as you wish. I'm going all out for this. My lady, look over there. It's the hero and Princess Sapphire. Looks like they're arguing about something. That must be a lover's quarrel. This is my time to shine. Yoko Asuka, this is my first task. Let's go. too dangerous. I wouldn't be able to go on if something happened to you. Please stay back. I'll have to beat you then. Oh, the monsters are getting too weak for my liking these days anyway. You're not actually... It doesn't matter. I won't move. I will protect you, my princess. Both of you, stop right there. Timing. Can you help me out here? Please tell her that I'm supposed to be protecting her. Disc, disc, disc. A hero should never make excuses. You're just having a lover's quarrel, right? Um, no, not really. Oh, I see. So this is what you call a lover's quarrel. Should we make it more interesting? Fighting with the princess? <sighs> I'll have to pass on that. Boring. So, what should I do with this hand? I've already drawn my sword. Hey, enough with the violence! If you must keep this up, you have to defeat me, Miss Barrow first! What do you mean? Now, bring it on! Why are you hesitating? Guess I have to make the first move! What? I thought you came here to stop the fighting! All right, now what is the level that we're going to be facing here? The moment of truth. Oh yeah, we're going to be fine. We're going to be, we're going to be entirely fine. Aside from that, hey, Zipper Brittany, how's it going, man? I'm going to get some water. I am both eating and drinking water during this. I, it's very unprofessional. If you can hear it, I apologize. But I'm both hungry and thirsty, so I doubt there's much that can be done about this, so... Meteor Impact! Let's test out Lahar and his new moves on this map. Remember this. Ha! 
good, but they're still alive. And I'm trying to eat in between these little animations that are disguised, so it's obvious. Pretty Raid! I mean, they're doing decent enough damage, so that's good. And then Flan! Oh yes, I'm gonna do this. Alright. And... Man, Laharo has an obsession. He does, doesn't he? He really, really is working for that title. That guy over there I'm probably going to just pull out on. Let's get them to move to us, just so that we can make sure things progress. Smoothish, smoothish enough. Actually, I should. That. Oh, what are they doing to do? Oh, another gang! Oh yeah, I forgot. These guys are so high level right now that they don't really give two shits. So let's just test out all the attacks they have. Okay, campfire, or campfire, the thing is, Asagi is not going to be a main character. Laharo was. So that is something of a difference. Remember this. Why does it sound like he's saying MySpace when he, when he does that attack? And aw, oh, damage she got. Uh, can we? No, we cannot. You don't even have anything like that, I guess. Shadow! Wait, 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 wait. I almost forgot to check. Because these guys are actually better than the ones that I have in my party, so I should probably rob them blind if I can. You had one chance. You poor soul, you had one chance to make this work. I actually didn't even notice that there was a Geo Cube there. Wonder what they're for. There's another one here, so they must be working tangent. And oh, that's in case you are actually are not at a high enough level to take use of it. And I can't use Blazing Knuckle, but I can do this. And Flan, you're gonna be stuck there for a while. So let's just make sure you get nice and comfy with it. Shadow. We'll need someone to start getting over so that we can start working on stealing them. Flan, get over there. We're gonna have to take care of that one on the side. With Flanzilla! Oh, if only. Then my heart. Oh. Then it and it follows it up. Like that. Such a load. We really are over leveled for this to an extreme degree. Can Flan do it again? Still not yet, but work on it. Hopefully they don't box me in action now that I think about it. Let's try and draw their attention. So we can ninja go over there and mug them blind. Alright, now who to steal from? She has a gun. He has a... You know what, let's do it equally. And... Let's take that from you. 
which frees up him to be killed. If he, we could kill him, but you know, that's its own matter. Alright. Maybe when do you think your copy of Sky will arrive? And if you think you can let the character creation for viewers on YouTube? The, the my copy of Sky 5 unfortunately was one of the ones that. Well, let's put it this way. I got an email saying we finally did your your pre your pre order. We completed or fulfilled your pre order of Sky 5. The day it came out. The day after it came out, I got an email saying we shipped it. And I expected to come on October 10th, so... Math, I guess, there. And then we go here... And you don't need this anymore, Princess. You really don't. I can't do that because... Well, how's gonna do that? Then I could do this for collateral damage, and Flan can... You already moved, so no. No, you can't. Oh, well. Yeah, Red Dukes, really. Oh god, Fl Etna might actually die. Oh, that was funny. Alright, Lady Knuckle to end it, hopefully. Oh, if only you could. Lahara, if you were stronger, maybe you would have been a main character. There is no rep victory. Only rep thief and rep dead. At least we did this, and we still get super hell, actually, huh? They just love throwing money at you, I guess, in this thing. But there's voice acting! How did you like my love-filled attack? <laughs> it was pretty good. Mm-hmm. That was impressive. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. That was amazing, my lady. You've already solved a campus problem as a teacher! Is a lover's quarrel really a campus problem? It wasn't even one of those, anyway. Um, did you just mention teacher? I thought I heard you call yourself a teacher, too. And your outfit. Yep, that's right. I'm a teacher now. Haven't you two noticed? This loose tension around the academy is worse than flat soda. Boom! I can't picture that metaphor, Master. There are very few demonly demons around here lately! Now that you mention it, it has been pretty laid back lately. I guess a lot of tension is good for demons. And that is why my lady has stood up to help the situation. Yes, she's here to put those students in their place. I'm in the middle of gathering students. Because I helped you, you two have to sign up for my class now. She's so forceful. I guess she is a demon after all. About her, I'll happily be Lady Girl's student. It could be worse. We could be mouse students instead. We'd probably conduct experiments on the students. Is that what you say behind my back? Has marriage made you suicidal? Mal, where did you come from? I, I was complimenting you, you know, about your research. <laughs> you guys don't know the real Beryl yet. As a lifelong rival of Beryl, I know exactly where you'll end up with her. You will see blood someday. You mean like at the blood drive? Lady Beryl is a kind-hearted delinquent. There is no need to worry. Oh, that must be the Bell to Start class. I'll begin my first class now. Today we will... go on a field trip. What? A field trip already? That's like a nine-course meal that starts off with dessert. Where are we going? To the Department of Education! You mean the place where you were kidnapped and where Mal ended up destroying? That's right. Since this is my first class ever, 
We should explore the school board. Have you forgotten what they did to you? <laughs> I get it now. I know what you're up to. You're gonna get back at them, right? Now, what are you talking about? I've let bygones be bygones. You're supposed to let go of the past. That's my lady. You're going to show the students how to forgive. I can't believe how great my lady's teaching is. She makes me feel tingly all over. <laughs> well, let's get going. Bring 300 hell worth of snacks. And Asuka, bananas don't count. Hmm, this level of delinquency. I can feel enormous energy in her. Looks like I better keep spying on her.